CES, the world's biggest technology fair, returns to Las Vegas this week. It used to be called the Consumer Electronics Show, but it now spans well beyond consumer products. And this year, organizers say the focus is on how tech can help solve the world's greatest challenges, like access to clean air, clean water, and health care. I think tech is a, with a purpose uh, is a great way to think about it. Also, tech for good uh, and making life better. Uh, and really, you just have to look at all the innovation that's happening in health technology to find an abundance of evidence uh, for that. Plenty of health devices feature built-in artificial intelligence, like this pocket-sized virus detector. This is Virewarn. This is the world's first affordable COVID-19 RSV and influenza breath analyzer that provides a result in under 60 seconds. You blow into the device twice and you'll receive a positive or negative result via a red positive or green negative LED light on the front of the device. This exoskeleton can help factory and healthcare workers easily switch from a standing to a sitting position without needing a chair. Very relaxed, comfortable, yes. The metaverse is another big theme, with many companies unveiling their latest offerings in virtual and augmented reality. A lot of masks are on display, but not all of them are about COVID or the metaverse. This one is a speech privacy mask. You can have your own sound bubble to, to create your own talk and to have your own sound privacy without disturbing the other, but also not sharing any information you, you might not want to share with anybody around you. So let me show you. We can't hear anything. And there are plenty more weird and wacky inventions on display. It's amazing. From smart golfing to a smart punching bag and even electric rollerblades. Organizers are hoping the show will look more like it did before the pandemic, and around 100,000 people are expected to converge here this week, eager to get their hands on the latest innovations and gadgets. Natalie Hewitt, Euronews, Las Vegas.